Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Blog Podcast. Today is Wednesday, February 27th, 2019. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's college hoops, NBA, NHL, and spring training games, look ahead to today's games and all those sports, and I'll do my best bet of the day as well as my money line picks of the night. We'll start in college basketball. A couple very, very interesting results that took place last night, including... Number 20, Virginia Tech upsetting number 3, Duke, 77-72. No Zion Williamson comes back to bite Duke again. So they're 1-2 and two since Zion got hurt. And 22-4 and four on the season. Virginia Tech improves to 22-6. and six. Kerry Blackshear Jr. led the way for the Hokies with 23 points. And R.J. Barrett led Duke with 21. Number 21, Buffalo defeats Akron, 77-64. Buffalo is 25-3. Akron's 15-13. Nick Perkins led Buffalo in scoring with 25, and Tyler Cheese led Akron in scoring with 20. Ohio State defeats number 22, Iowa, 90 to 70. Ohio State 18 and 10, Iowa 21 and 7. Justin Aarons had 29 for the Buckeyes, and Joe Wakescamp had 17 for the Hawkeyes. Wake Forest defeats Miami 76 75. Wake 11 and 16, Miami 12 and 15. John Day Brown had 21 for Wake, and Chris Likes had 26 for Miami. Alabama defeats South Carolina 68-62. Alabama 17-11. South Carolina 14-14. Kira Lewis Jr. at 17 for the Tide. And Chris Silva 23 for the Gamecocks. Mississippi State defeats Missouri 68-49. Mississippi State 21-7. Missouri 12-15. Tyson Carter had 22 for Mississippi State. And Torrance Watson had 12 for Missouri. Providence defeats Butler 73-67. In overtime, Providence 16-13. Butler 15-13. Nate Watson at 21 for Providence, and Kamar Baldwin at 27 for Butler. West Virginia upsets TC at 104-96 in triple overtime. Fantastic game last night in Morgantown. They're 11-17, TC 18-10. Jordan McCabe had the game of his life, 25 points for the Mountaineers, and J.D. Miller had 24 for TCU. Toledo defeats Ball State 80-72, to Toledo 22-6, Ball State 14-14. Marion Jackson at 19 for Toledo, and... Taylor Parsons had 20 for Ball State. Rhode Island defeats George Washington 80 to 53. Rhode Island 13 to 14. George Washington 8 and 20. Jeff Dowton had 16 for Rhode Island and Javier Garcia had 14 for George Washington. North Alabama defeats Jacksonville 69 55. North Alabama 10 and 20. Jacksonville 12 and 18. Tavon King had 24 for North Alabama and Anthony McCollum had 11 for Jacksonville. Dayton defeats UMass 72-48, Dayton 19-9, UMass 10-18. Obaya Toppin at 19 for Dayton, and Jonathan Laurent had 21 for UMass. North Florida defeats Teston 77-67, and North Florida's 15-16, Stetson 7-23. Garrett Sams had 23 for North Florida, and Abiomi Iala had 16 for Stetson. Kent State defeats Ohio 78-73. Kent 28, Ohio 12-15. Jalen Walker at 23 for Kent, and Jason Carter had 20 for Ohio. Miami of Ohio defeats Bowling Green 82-69. Miami of Ohio 15-13. Bowling Green 19-9. Nike Simbande had 20 for Miami of Ohio, and Dimaggio Wiggins had 14 for Bowling Green. Central Michigan defeats Eastern Michigan 77-66. Central's 28, Eastern's 13 and 15. Kevin McKay, 23 points for Central, and Paul Jackson at 19 for Eastern. VCU defeats St. Louis 71 65. VCU 22 and 6. St. Louis 17 and 11. Marcus Evans had 20 for VCU, and Hashan French had 16 for St. Louis. Liberty defeats Kennesaw State 76 59. Liberty 24 and 6. Kennesaw 5 and 25. Elijah Cuffey had 16 for Liberty, and Danny Lewis had 27. For Kennesaw, Northern Illinois defeats Western Michigan 70-65. Northern Illinois 13-15, Western Michigan 8-20. Levi Bradley had 16 for Northern Illinois, and Seth Dugan had 19 for Western Michigan. Number 4, Kentucky defeats Arkansas 70-66. Kentucky is 24-4, Arkansas is 14-14. Tyler Harrow had 29 for the Wildcats, and Isaiah Joe had 19 for the Razorbacks. Number 5, North Carolina defeats Syracuse 93-85. North Carolina 23-5. Syracuse 18-10. Kobe Wade at 34 points to lead the Tar Heels. And 
Tyus Battle had 29 to lead the Orange. Number 13, LSU defeats Texas A&M, 66-55. LSU 23 and 5. Texas A&M 12 and 15. Nas Reed at 18, and Wendell Mitchell of A&M had 14. Indiana upsets number 19, Wisconsin 75-73 in double overtime. Indiana 14 and 14, Wisconsin 19 and 9. Romeo Langford at 22 for the Hoosiers, and Ethan Happ at 23 for the Badgers. Memphis defeats Temple 81-73. A good win for Memphis. They're 18 and 11. Temple drops to 20 and 8. Their at large chances are going down the drain. Jeremiah Martin had 30 for Memphis, and Shiz Alston Jr. had 22 for Temple. Utah State defeats San Diego State 70 to 54. Utah State 23 and 6. San Diego State 18 and 10. Sam Morrell had 19 for Utah State, and Jordan Shackle had 15 for San Diego State. San Jose State defeats New Mexico 89-82. San Jose State 4-23. New Mexico in, or drops to 11-16. San Jose State with the big upset. Noah Bauman, 26 points for San Jose State. And Keith McGee has 25 for New Mexico. Utah Valley defeats Seattle 77-68. Utah Valley 28. Seattle 15-13. Jake Toulson led the way with 25 points for Utah Valley, and Delonte Jones had 16 for Seattle. Tonight's games, big slate tonight, 6 o'clock, Holy Cross at Colgate, 6.30, Big Ten Network, number 17, Maryland at Penn State. Maryland's only favored by one and a half. Will Penn State pull off yet another upset? I am going to say no. Give me Maryland the win and cover in a close one. ESPN 2, Georgia Tech in number 2, Virginia. Virginia's favorite 18. They're going to win and cover. SEC Network, number 7, Tennessee at Ole Miss. Tennessee's favorite by 4.5. Tennessee, I'm a little worried about. They're in a little bit of a slog. And I don't think that they lose here. But I think Ole Miss covers. Number 8, Houston at East Carolina. Houston's favorite by 14.5. I'm going to take Houston to win, but East Carolina to cover. I think Houston... It's just due for a game where they're not as great as they are. ESPMU, Oklahoma State at number 11, Texas Tech. Texas, Texas, a 14.5 point favorite. They're going to win and cover. ACC never Clemson at Pitt. Clemson's favored by four. Pitt's due, but they've been so bad. I'm taking Clemson to win and cover. CBS Sports Network, DePaul, Georgetown. Georgetown's a five point favorite. They'll win and cover. They're in the mix for an at large. UCF at South Florida. UCF's a two-and-a-half point favorite. I think they win in cover. I'm not a fan of that South Florida team. Davidson at LaSalle. Davidson's favored by five-and-a-half. I think they win in cover. Richmond at George Mason. George Mason's a five-and-a-half point favorite. They'll win in cover. Presbyterian at Gardner-Webb. Radford at High Point. New Hampshire at Albany. Hartford at Binghamton. UMass Lowell at Maine. UMBC at Stony Brook. Lehigh at American. Loyola, Maryland at Army. Boston University at Lafayette. Bucknell at Navy. Campbell at South Carolina Upstate, Missouri State at Illinois State, Southern Illinois at Evansville, 730 Incarnate Word at Northwestern State, UNC Asheville at Charleston Southern, Niagara at Canisius, Decane at St. Bonaventure. Bonaventure is a whopping six and a half point favorite. That's way off. I'm taking Decane for the outright upset and obviously cover the six and a half. Eight o'clock, Abilene Christian at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Stephen at Boston at Central Arkansas, Indiana State at Drake, McNeese at Nichols, Houston Baptist at Lamar, Loyola Chicago at Northern Illinois, or I'm sorry, Northern Iowa, Valparaiso at Bradley, Sam Houston State at New Orleans, 830 Big Ten Network, Illinois at number 14, Purdue, Purdue's favorite, 13 and a half. Illinois has been more competitive and a little better than expected of late. I'm going to take Purdue to win, but Illinois to cover. 9 o'clock, Fox Sports 1, number 10, Marquette at Villanova. Villanova's a five-point favorite. Villanova's just due for a nice kick-butt game. I think this is it. They win by 10, so I'm going to take Villanova to win and cover. CBS Sports Network, number 23, Cincinnati at SMU. Cincinnati's going to kick their butt. They're going to win and cover. Colorado State at Boise State. Boise's favorite by 6.5. They'll win, but Colorado State covers. East New Mexico at Grand Canyon. St. Joe's at Fordham. St. Joe's is only a three-point favorite. I think they're better than Fordham. I think they'll win and cover. ESPN 2, Texas at Baylor. Baylor's favored by three and a half. I'm taking Baylor to win and cover. They need these games in order to uh, get themselves in at large. Auburn at Georgia. Auburn's favored by seven and a half points. 
over Georgia. I think they win in cover. I just don't think Georgia's a good team. SEC Network Florida, Vanderbilt, Florida is a four-point favorite. I think they win in cover. They've been playing good ball lately, and they're in the conversation for an at-large now. Louisville at Boston College, Louisville stated by five and a half. This team has not been the same since the Duke collapse. I think Boston College beats them outright, and I think there's a chance that Louisville slips and slips and slips to the bubble, despite all their big wins from earlier in the year. 10 o'clock, UC Riverside at Cal State Northridge. Wyoming at Fresno State. Fresno's favored by 17. They're going to win in cover. 11 o'clock, CBS Sports Network. UNLV at number 12, Nevada. Nevada's favored by 17. I think Nevada wins, but UNLV covers. And that's it for college. On to the NBA. Only three games last night on the slate. The Knicks upset the Magic. 108-103. They were down by 12 in the fourth quarter, and they rebound courtesy of the bench and steal this game from the Magic. They're 13-48. and 48. Orlando is 28-34. and 34. Emmanuel Moutier had 19 points, and it's sad because none of the Knicks starters played well, and they were all in single digits. So Moutier with 19, Mitchell Robinson, 17 points and 14 boards. Henry Ellenson, 13 points, 9 boards, 5 assists. His first game is a Nick. Alonzo Trier had 18. Mail for Orlando. Nikola Vucevic, 26 points and 11 boards and 6 assists. Aaron Gordon, 26 points and 7 boards. Jonathan Isaac had 16. Evan Fournier had 15. DJ Augustine had 13. Their bench did not do anything. The Raptors destroyed the Celtics 118 to 95, an impressive win for Toronto. They're 45 and 17. Boston 37 and 24. Pascal Siakam, 25 points and eight boards. Kawhi Leonard at 21. Serge Ibaka at 14. Norman Powell off the bench had 11. Marcus Morris had 17. Jason Tatum had 11. Off the bench Terry Rozier at 11, and Jalen Brown had 10. The Nuggets beat the Thunder 121 to 112. Denver 42 and 18, Oklahoma City 38 and 22, Nikola Jokic 36 points with 10 assists to 9 boards, Paul Millsap had 10 with 12, or I'm sorry, 12 with 10 boards, Jamal Murray had 20, Will Byrne had 23, off the bench Isaiah Thomas had 11, we went for Oklahoma City, Paul George had 25 with 7 assists and 8 boards, Jeremy Grant had 21, Russell Westbrook had 22 points, 14 boards and 9 assists, Steven Adams, had 15, and off the bench, Dennis Schroeder had 11. Tonight's slate is bigger. At 7 o'clock, you have the Rockets at the Hornets, 7.30, the Timberwolves at the Hawks, the Wizards at the Nets, the Warriors at the Heat, 8 o'clock, the Bulls at the Grizzlies, the Trailblazers at the Celtics on ESPN, Boston's favorite, 2.5, second of a back-to-back. I'm taking Portland to win this outright on the road. I just don't like how the Celtics team's been playing at all. Too much turmoil, too much drama, Kyrie Irving's future in the balance. This is very reminiscent of the Lakers, except... It's the more so of that their young guys are could be distracted because they know that there's a chance they're dealt for Anthony Davis too, not just the Celtics. And so I'm taking the Blazers led by Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum to win this game outright. 8.30, the Pistons at the Spurs, the Pacers at the Mavericks, 9 o'clock, the Clippers at the Jazz, 10 o'clock, the Bucks at the Kings, and 10.30 on ESPN, the Pelicans at the Lakers. Lakers are 5.5-point favorites. I'm tempted to take New Orleans out right here. But who knows with Anthony Davis and the status of him playing or not. But he didn't play against the Lakers recently, but that was on the road. The Lakers are a different team at home than they are on the road. Their fans are going to show up. If this is a double-digit game in favor of the Pelicans, you're going to be hearing boos in the home arena from the home fans, so I think there's all the pressure in the world on the Lakers and LeBron James. I think they'll get the win, but they barely cover. I think it's an eight-point game rather than a five-point game like Vegas is trying to suggest. NHL. Some interesting results from last night on the Big slate. The Bruins defeat the Sharks 4-1. to 
The Bruins are 37-17 and 9. San Jose 37-19 and 8. Number one star of the game with a goal and two assists. Brad Marchand, number two star of the game with a goal and assist. David Krejci, number three star of the game with a goal. Jake DeBrusque. The Flames defeat the Islanders 3 one. That's I believe six straight wins for Calgary. They're 40-16 and 7. Islanders 36-19 and 7. Number one star of the game with a goal. Mikael Backlund, number two star of the game with 26 saves on 27 shots. Mike Smith, number three star of the game with a goal. Rasmus Anderson. The Flyers beat the Sabres 5-2 on national TV. The Flyers are 30-26-7. Buffalo 29-26-8. Number one star of the game with the goal. Oscar Lindblom. Number two star of the game with 34 saves on 36 shots. Brian Elliott. Number three star of the game. Didn't have a point but just played a good game for Philly. New acquisition. Ryan Hartman. The Capitals defeat the Senators 7-2. Capitals are 36, 21, and 7. Ottawa, 26, 36, and 5. Number one star of the game with two goals. TJ Oshie, number two star of the game with a goal and assist. Lars Eller, number three star of the game with two assists. Nicholas Backstrom. The Hurricanes defeat the Kings 6 to 1. The Hurricanes are 34, 23, and 6. LA's 23, 33, and 7. Number one star of the game with a goal and three assists. Tavis Saravina, number two star of the game with three assists. Jordan Saul, number three. Three star of the game with the two goals under the assist. Dougie Hamilton. The Penguins defeat the Blue Jackets 5 to 2. Penguins 33 22 and 8. Columbus 35 24 and 3. Number one star of the game with two goals. James McCann. Number two star of the game with the goal. Cam Atkinson. Number three star of the game with a goal. Jake Getzel. The Canadians defeat the Red Wings 8 to 1. Montreal 34 23 and 7. Detroit 23 32 and 9. Number one star of the game with a hat trick. Andrew Shaw. Number two star of the game with two goals and three assists. Max Domi, number three star of the game with a goal. Thomas Tatar. The Blues defeat the Predators 2 0. The Blues are 34 23 and 6. Nashville 34 20. I'm sorry, 37 24 and 5. Number one star of the game with a goal. Tyler Bozak, number two star of the game with 19 saves on 19 shots. Jordan Bingington, and number three star of the game with 42 saves on 44 shots. UC Soros. The Wild defeat the Jets 3 2. Minnesota 31 27 and 6. Winnipeg 37 22 and 4. Number one star of the game with 30 saves on 32 shots. Devin Dubnik, number two star of the game with assists. Ben Chirot, number three star of the game with two assists. Ryan Donato. The Coyotes defeat the Panthers 4 3 in a shootout. The Coyotes are 30 28 and 5. Florida 28 25 and 9. Number one star of the game with two goals. Derek Stepan, number two star of the game, didn't have a point in the game. But just played a good game. Vinny Hinestroza. And the same thing with the number three star of the game, Vincent Trocek. I guess they had goals in the shootout, from what I'm reading. The Golden Knights defeat the Stars 4 to 1. A huge win for Vegas. Much needed. Finally, a home win. They're 33 26 and 5. Dallas is 31 27 and 5. Number one star of the game with two goals, Max Pacioretty. Number two star of the game, played a good game in his Knights debut, Mark Stone. Number three star of the game, just played a good game too, Ryan Reeves. Tonight's game's only five games, 7.30 NBCSN. The Rangers host the Lightning. Kenny Albert, Eddie Olchek, Pierre Maguire on the call. Um, the Lightning won this game a few weeks ago on the Saturday night before the Super Bowl when they played at the Garden. And ironically, it's the same announcers that called that game that are calling this game. And... Do I think it'll be the same result? Yes, I'm going to say Tampa Bay wins again. Wouldn't be shocked if it's close. Wouldn't be shocked if it's a blowout. I just think Tampa wins. But at the same time, I won't be stunned if the Rangers win. Because part of me thinks that they're going to want to play hard in, against some of their former teammates. 7 o'clock, the Oilers at the Maple Leafs, the Flames at the Devils. 9.30, the Canucks at the Avalanche. And 10 o'clock on NBCSN, the Blackhawks at the Ducks. On the call, this one I think is... Maybe Alex Foss and Brian Hayward. I know Brian Hayward is doing the color play-by-play. -play. I don't think it's Doc Emmerich. I'm sure it's not Doc Emmerich. Kenny Albert's doing the Ranger game, so it's not him. It might be John Forslund, if I'm not mistaken. If I, I, I think it's John Forslund and Brian Hayward because I don't see the Carolina Hurricanes on the schedule, so I do think it might be Forslund with Hayward there. I'm going to take the Blackhawks to win here. They need to win some games. They get themselves back in the mix after initially getting themselves back in the mix, and then they lost a couple in a row against 
Western Conference opponents like Colorado and Dallas, which really set them back a little bit. And I think they're going to bounce back here and get a big road win against the Ducks team that I don't think is interested in making the postseason. So getting the Blackhawks on the road there too. On to baseball. Go over some spring training results and look ahead to uh, some games that will be played today. The Marlins beat the Astros 3-0. Among things that stood out in terms of big names, Garrett Cole pitched an inning, didn't give up a hit or an earned run or didn't strike out or walk a batter. So a clean first inning. Wade Viley, two innings and a walk. Roberto Osuna, an inning, a hit, and two strikeouts. In terms of their regulars, Michael Brantley 0 for 3, Tony Kemp 0 for 2, and Carlos Correa 0 for 2, Miami, JT Riddle 0 for 3, Miguel Rosas 0 for 2, Lewis Brinton 0 for 2, Dan Straley pitched 2 innings and 3 strikeouts, Sergio Romo an inning and 3 strikeouts. The Twins defeat the Pirates 6 to 5, among notable things is that Mitch Keller pitched the highly touted prospect for Pittsburgh in inning. Three hits, two in runs, so not a good spring debut for him. We went from Minnesota. Tyler Duffy pitched two innings and two walks and three strikeouts. So didn't give up a hit or a run. In terms of hitters, Max Kepler, one for two. And Rosario, two for three. Tyler Austin, one for three. Ronald Torres, 0 for three. Pittsburgh hitters. Eric Gonzalez, their new trade acquisition, 0 for 3. Jung Ho Kong, who's come back after the uh, incident. I think it was like a drinking and driving incident, if I'm not mistaken. He's, he went 0 for 3 in terms of uh, name players on the Pirates. The Cardinals beat the Nationals 6 to 1. In terms of notable things, Chase and Shreve of the Cardinals gets the win despite giving up an earned run and two walks and a hit. Adam Wainwright, two innings and a strikeout, so not bad for him. Matt Carpenter, 0 for 3. Dustin, or Dexter Fowler, 0 for 3. Paul Goldschmidt, 1 for 2. Jose Martinez, 0 for 1 with the walk. And on the flip side for Washington, Trey Turner 0 for 1, Brian Dozier 0 for 2, Anthony Rendon 0 for 2, Matt Adams 0 for 2, Howie Kendrick 0 for 2, Annabelle Sanchez pitched 2 innings, gave up a walk and a strikeout, Sean Doolittle pitched an inning and struck out 1. The Rays defeat the Orioles 11 to 5 in 8 innings. Jalen Beeks gets the win and he pitched... An inning and gave up a hit and struck out one. That's a bad ERA in spring because he didn't have a good outing in one of his previous outings. Emilio Pagan started two innings, four hits, two and runs, a walk, and two strikeouts. Austin Pruitt, two innings, three hits, two and runs. Diego Castillo pitched a clean inning. And in terms of their regulars, Brett Lowe, 1 for 2. G Man Choi, 1 for 2. William Damas, 0 for 3. Kevin Kiermeyer, 1 for 3. On the flip side for uh, Baltimore, Mike Wright Jr., 2 innings, 2 hits, a walk, and a strikeout. Prospect Ryan Mountcastle got a hit and scored a run. Chris Davis, 1 for 3. John Favaro, 0 for 3. Austin Hayes, 1 for 3. Alcides Escobar, 1 for 1 with a walk. Joey Ricard, 1 for 2. The Braves defeat the Mets 4-3. to In terms of notable things, Chris Oswald of the Mets, two innings and two strikeouts. Emmy off for Atlanta. Sean Newcomb, two hits. I'm sorry, two innings, two walks, and a strikeout. Freddie Freeman over two, and your NCR, they won for three. Adam Duvall over two, and in terms of notable Mets, Juan Lovgaris 0 for three. Peter Alonso won for three. Devin Mezzarocco 0 for two. In the Mets' other game, they dropped to the Tigers 14-4. Matt Boyd got the win. Zach Wheeler with the loss. 
Boyd, an inning in the third, three hits, two in runs, a walk, and two strikeouts. And Wheeler, oi. Actually, not really an oi. An inning, a hit, no walks, no earned runs, no strikeouts, but a couple unearned runs for Wheeler, which made it look kind of bad and charged him the loss. The Angels beat the Athletics 17-5. to Hansel Robles got the win. Fernando Rodney, the loss. Mike Trout, one for two. David Fletcher, one for two. Albert Pulos, 0 for three. Taylor Ward, one for three. Meanwhile, for Oakland, Robbie Grossman, one for three. Matt Chapman didn't get a hit or anything. Matt Olsman, 0 for three. Steven Piscotti, two for three. Mike Fires pitched. Three innings, three hits, an earned run, and five strikeouts. And starting for L.A. was Andrew Heaney. An inning, three hits, two in runs, and three walks. The White Sox defeat the Royals 9-7. to um, Pitching for the White Sox in the starting role was Jimmy Lambert. Two innings, a hit, two in runs. Or I'm sorry, that's two walks and a strikeout. Carson Fulmer, two innings, three hits, two in runs, and two strikeouts. Boy, he looks like a bust. Adam and Gell, two for three. Tim Anderson, two for three. Jose Abreu, one for three. We offer KC. The starting pitcher was Foster Griffin. An inning in a third, four, three and runs, a walk, and two strikeouts. Hunter Dozier, one for two. Jorge Solero, for three. Jorge Bonifacio, one for two. Ryan O'Hearn, one for two. Brett Phillips, one for three. The Padres defeat the Brewers, three to one. To me, the big story of the Padres is one's Manny Machado going to be on the field. Fernando Tatis hit a home run. Chris Paddock got the win for the Padres. Austin Hedges also hit a home run. Francisco Mejia went 1 for 2. Manuel Margot 0 for 3. Tatis went 1 for 3. Fran Mel Reyes 0 for 2. Paddock stats 2 innings. A hit. No one runs a walk and 4 strikeouts. Meanwhile, for Milwaukee, Orlando Garcia 0 for 3. Mike Moustakis 1 for 2. Manny Pena 0 for 1. Zach Davies 2 innings. No hits. No one runs and a walk. And no strikeouts. The Giants beat the Reds 4-3. to three. Things of note that happened. Derek Rodriguez pitched. An inning in two-thirds. Two hits. An earned run. Two walks and a strikeout. Cincinnati. Brandon Finnegan started. The former Royals prospect. An inning. No hits. No earned runs. No walks. And a strikeout. And in terms of big name hitters, Jesse Winker 0 for 2, Scooter Jeanette 2 for 2, Matt Kemp 0 for 1 with a walk, Scott Shubler 0 for 2 with the walk, Derek Dietrich 0 for 2, Jose Peraza 2 for 2, Tucker Barnhart 0 for 1, Mewa for San Francisco, Cameron Mabin 0 for 3, Joe Panic 0 for 2, Austin Slater 0 for 2, Mac Williamson 0 for 1 with a run scored, Rene Rivera 1 for 2. The Diamondbacks defeat the Cubs 5 to 4. The Diamondbacks of note. Wilmer Flores 1 for 2. Steven Souza 0 for 2. Alex Avila 0 for 2. Yasmani Tomas 0 for 2. Oh my god. Zach Godley pitched. Was not good. A third of an inning. Two hits. Three runs and three walks. Meanwhile, in terms of the Cubs, Jason Hayward didn't have a hit. Al Mora. 1 for 2, Chris Bryan 0 for 1, Anthony Rizzo 1 for 2, Javier Baez 1 for 2, Daniel Descalso 0 for 2, Yu Darvish pitched an inning in a third, no hits, and earned run 4 walks. So that's not a good look for the overpriced free agent from a year ago. The Royals defeat the Dodgers 8-2, to two. that's a split squad for the Royals. Things of note in this game, A.J. Pollock 2 for 2, Max Muncy 0 for 3, Chris Taylor 0 for 3, Russell Martin 0 for 2, Alex Verdugo 1 for 2, Kenta Maeda pitched an inning, no hits, no earned runs, no walks, and two strikeouts. Let's go to KC side. Whit Merrifield 1 for 3, Billy Hamilton 0 for 1, Alex Gordon 0 for 2, Salvador Perez 0 for 1, Brian Goodwin 0 for 2, Chris Owings 0 for 3. Ian Kennedy pitched two innings, a hit, no earned runs, a walk, and no strikeouts. The Indians beat the Rockies 5 to 3. Things of note in this one. Leonis Martin, 2 for 3. Max Moroff, 1 for 2. Carlos Santana, 1 for 3. Kevin Pilecki, 0 for 2. And meanwhile for Colorado. 
Nolan Arenado, the newly paid Nolan Arenado. O for O, I guess he didn't necessarily have an official quote unquote at bat. Ian Desmond, O for one. Chris Sinetta, O for two. Ryan McGann, O for one. Brendan Rogers, the hot prospect, O for two. Pat Velika, one for two. Kyle Freeland, two innings, a hit, and earned run, a walk, and two strikeouts for Colorado. And the Rangers and the Mariners tied at four in ten innings. Things of note in this one, there's no obviously win or loss because there's a tie game. Delano the Shields, one for three. Hunter Pence, 0 for two. Esterbo Cabrera, 0 for one with a walk. Nomar Mazzara, 2 for two. Willie Calhoun, 0 for three. Mel for Seattle, D. Gordon, 0 for 3, Edwin Encarnacion, 0 for 2, Jay Bruce, 2 for 3, Kyle Seeger, 1 for 2, J.B. Crawford, 0 for 2, Marco Gonzalez pitched, 3 innings, a hit, no one runs, a walk and 5 strikeouts. And obviously Yankees, Phillies, and Red Sox, Blue Jays were postponed. 1 o'clock today, the Yankees at the Tigers, the Braves at the Cardinals, the Orioles at the Red Sox, the Astros at the Nationals, the Twins at the Phillies, the Blue Jays at the Pirates. The Red Sox at the Rays, the Marlins at the Mets, 3 o'clock, the Cubs at the Rangers, the Reds at the White Sox, the Indians at the Brewers, the Royals at the Giants, the Dodgers at the Athletics, the Mariners at the Indians, the Angels at the Rockies, and the Diamondbacks at the Padres. Now my best bet of the day, brought to you by FanDuel. I did pretty well yesterday with my money line pick. Because I took the Knicks over the Spurs. And I think that there's some interesting money line options today. And then there's some, obviously some intriguing favorite money line parlay options as well. And we'll start with the big favorite money line parlay that I normally would do which obviously is all favorites that I think are mortal locks to win. And I usually do this rule, you have to be a double-digit favorite in college to do this. So Houston, Albany, yes, I'm saying Albany over New Hampshire. I can't believe I'm doing that. Texas Tech, Charleston Southern, Purdue, Fresno State, and Nevada in terms of college. NBA, the Golden State Warriors. I just don't feel good about Miami right now. Utah, so that takes me to nine. Wagering a dollar. With a payout of plus one thirty seven to win a dollar thirty seven with the total payout of two dollars and thirty seven cents. And now my money lines will start in college basketball. I already made the selection and I felt really good about it, and that's the cane over Saint Bonaventure. And then for the NBA, let's go. With the Atlanta Hawks over the Minnesota Timberwolves, they're a four and a half point underdog, and they should be able to win that game over the Timberwolves team that I believe is on the second of a back to back, if I'm not mistaken. That's it for the podcast today. I'll be back tomorrow discussing a lot more NFL things that are going on, doing my latest mock draft, college basketball, NBA, and NHL, spring training, looking ahead to tomorrow's slate, and a lot more. Hope you guys have a great day, everybody.